Hey guys, Crew of Blind Wave back. I'm Calvin. I'm Shane. I'm Eric. I'm Aaron. And we are going to watch a honest trailer. Well, for what? Ghostbusters! Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. By the way, make sure you guys are going over to Screen Junkies channel, checking out the honest trailer there first, then you can come back and watch it. Yeah. I mean, don't make sure you come back, though. Come back to Open watch it. Open a new tab. One. We'll wait. Well, we want I do it all the time. Slow <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll the computer down. I hate when he does that. But uh, we just want to make sure that every view we get, Screen Junkies is getting all the credit for it. It's their original content. We only do these because people ask for them. Like our specialties is like the TV shows, like this internet, the internet video stuff. People just want us to see it. Yeah, exactly. So Ghostbusters. Now, is this, is this uh, boy Ghostbusters or girl Ghostbusters? This is yeah. old school boy <laughs> Ghostbusters. Old school boy yeah. Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen the new movie, so I can't compare the two. I don't think any of us have. No. no. Nope. We got a lot of hate. <laughs> <laughs> we did do the trailer reaction. We, we actually got, liked it. We kind of liked it, yeah. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. Over the last, like, how many years, there's this thing about this bandwagon hate, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where something's not that bad. If, if you're not touching if, the hay, you're yeah. getting the hate. Yeah, yeah. but well, the thing is, like, if, if it's something's not that bad, but because so, it, it becomes a trend to hate it, you know? If you like it, you're a fucking asshole, you know? Like the yeah. prequels. Yeah, exactly like the prequels, you know? I can see why people think that the prequels, they don't like them, you know? But that trailer for Ghostbusters, yeah, it was different, but it wasn't as bad as, like, you know, this is the worst fucking shit I've ever seen in my life, feminist PC bullshit, you know? Yeah. It's yeah. like, it's yeah. a fucking movie about people that catch ghosts, you know? Don't yeah. take it too seriously. Yeah, don't take yeah. it too seriously. I mean, the movie themselves didn't take themselves too seriously. They no. Just, they had a giant marshmallow man as a as a yeah. villain. The Stay Puft you know? marshmallow it's man. It's silly yeah. and it's fun. Who cares? We got a lot of heat for that one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, I haven't seen the new. I'm just not. I'm honestly not too excited. I mean, I didn't hate it, but I also didn't love the trailer either. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I was. I wasn't like I have to go see this. What, you know? what killed me on it was finding out that it's not actor the first two movies yeah. and stuff. That's Which the trailer the just reboot. completely yeah. said it did. Right? Yeah, yeah like it, it did. did. It seemed like it did when it first started, it was like, 20 years ago, you know, these guys. I'm like, oh, I okay, can't yeah. imagine that a marketing person that would create that in the trailer would be so fucking stupid as to have done that, and then it's just not that. But Other they are. than the fact that they were trying to just ride the the old movie's yeah. fame. I, yeah. Well, but you already are, because it's Ghostbusters, and you have that fucking song in there. Yeah, you, know? you don't need that, then. You don't need, you don't need to do that. I wish it would have been a connected thing. That would have been cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, um, the game that came out, I liked the game. Yeah. It was fun. It was good. Not like the NES game, but the one that came out on, like, PS3. Sure. Yeah, that was, and, uh, actually, that was actually pretty good. I loved it, the cartoon. The, yeah, the cartoon was fun, yeah. too. But the story for the game was written by the same people that wrote the original ones. Harold Ramis, Dan Aykroyd, they worked on the storyline for the oh, game. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. They were actually behind it. They did voices for it, too, yeah. and stuff. But... It was set in, like, after the second movie, where there was, like, a franchise idea being built around the Ghostbusters name. Sure. So I was in hopes that the new movie was going to be that, where it was a franchise being built off of, you know, like McDonald's or yeah. Burger King or something like that. But, sadly, that's not the right thing. I didn't do that. No. But uh, I, we don't want to spend too much time talking about that one. We want to talk about the original. The good, the good we think, maybe the better one. I don't know. I haven't seen it. The um, one we prefer based on our experience. I can't prefer well, I've something. I've heard a new one is that I love up. Doesn't? That's what I heard, but I'll see it myself. Yep. Yeah, I, I just, honestly, I can't trust anybody's opinion on it because I, I feel like the bias is so deep inside yeah. Yeah, society. Deep inside. I mean, not like Pokemon Go deep, mm, you know? Deep. Yeah. Not that balls like, deep, like but like pretty deep. So let's watch the trailer. <laughs> Calvin, hit the button. Ruining sequel slash reboot on the horizon. Oh, it's time to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the film you loved as a child of the 80s, or the cartoon you loved as Yay. a child of the 90s, or the theme song you sort of recognize as a child of today. <laughs> Ghostbusters. Before Harold Ramis passed away, Aww. Bill Murray became a professional party crasher, and Dan Aykroyd went batch crazy. I don't think we will ever have a formal relationship, a formal contact with any alien species out there, especially after 9-11. They were the Ghostbusters. <laughs> what? looking out of touch, out of shape nerds. But when we get to 20, tell me, I'm gonna throw up. Yep, this is what movie stars look like in 84, kids. When there's something strange in your neighborhood, there's only one group of unlicensed, heavily armed, disgraced college professors you can call the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters, 
Spanglers, what do you want? They're Spangler, a nerd. I collect spores, molds, and fungus. Ray, a nerd. If the ionization rate is constant for all ectoplasmic entities, we could really bust some heads. In a spiritual sense, of course. Vankman, a borderline sexual predator. <laughs> hey, stay here in bed until I get back. And yeah. Winston, who was supposed to be played by Eddie Murphy, but got more or less written out of the movie when he passed on the role. And eventually cropped out on home video, too. Aww. What, the really? Oh, the shit. Yeah. The yeah, Ghostbusters are the only thing between the city and total chaos, causing the media to run glowing profiles of their successful business instead of the fact that ghosts exist and are haunting New York. But it's nothing yeah. that Ghostbusters can't handle. They've got the car, the gadgets, and the vaguely scientific know-how to put evil in its place. Ten people witnessed a free-floating, full-torso vaporous apparition. Ectoplasmic residue. Complete particle reversal. Total photonic reversal. Focused, non-terminal repeating phantasm, fourfold cross rip. You have been a participant in the biggest interdimensional cross rip since the Tunguska Blast of 1909. Felt so great. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you made half of that stuff up. Slide down the fire pole yeah. and into a PG rated movie that kids love, even though it's full of cursing. Oh, sh. This is before PG 13, wasn't it? I have seen sh that'll turn you white. What an ass. This man has no dick. Casual smoking. I love it, Mike. There's yeah. a lot of casual smoking. Right? There's a lot of smoking. <laughs> Boob grabbing. <laughs> That's just and ghost head. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh shit, look at Whoa. Yeah. Kids' movies were way better back in the day. That's PG. So grab your stick. Grab your stick. Heat them up. Heat them up. Make them hard. Make them hard. And don't cross the streams. Cross the streams. As the Ghostbusters take down the best knobs the 80s had to offer. You are a poor scientist doctor. Exactly what are you a doctor of? $5,000? I have no idea to be so much I won't pay it. <laughs> and there's hundreds of innocent creatures who don't do much besides read, eat, drive, yeah. and uh, uh, I feel so funky. Um, I feel like the floor of the taxi cab. Let's say, who's? <laughs> what now? Starring, Bill, you murray me. Funny Dan Aykroyd. Tea gone, but not forgotten. Uh, Sick horny Weaver. 80s dick. Young old Larry King, Flubber, Young Dark Helmet, Flubber. Dark Helmet, David yeah. Bowie, Not Eddie Murphy, Aww. Fat Casper, <laughs> the dad from Family Matters. Yep. Oh, he's a cop in it too. Whoa, no way. Yeah, what? Jeremy, right there. That gave me real. She's a cop in it. That's how the thing blows. Yep. <clears throat> Kids, this was called a library. It's like a printout of Wikipedia where you have to be quiet. Be sure to subscribe. <laughs> Uh, I love Ghostbusters. Me too. Great thing about Ghostbusters is like I don't know if it really works without Bill Murray, because he's so confident in every line and every scene he's in that he just gives confidence to the fact that there's these crazy guys running around with these stupid backpacks, nuclear bombs. You know, basically, you just think like, oh, okay, these guys are cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. But without Bill Murray, it might just be this is kind of this is kind of weird. A bunch you of know? weird guys. Yeah. yeah, he lends so much to it. I love it. I did not know about the home release Winston getting cut. I didn't know that. Yeah. I, I had heard about that. I didn't know he was supposed to be played by Eddie Murphy either. Yeah. Now, I did hear one uh, piece of criticism for the new movie comparing it to this that I thought was interesting, and it's that Winston, he's a black guy, but he represents the everyman. He just here yeah. to do a job, you know? He's It's like, well, he it's, a, a, it's a movie in that era that, like, you're, everybody relates to the black guy on the team, you know? Yeah. Well, he has a line even, it's like... Yeah. If I get a solid paycheck, I believe whatever you want me to believe. Yeah, you know? yeah. But, but there's no like, like, there's no stereotype. There's no like. Yeah, I thought I, mean, I thought I remember he had a couple things about him being black. Well, he has a thing like I've seen shit that has scared you white. You well, know? yeah, I mean, I'm just saying like, but there's no there's no like that's I would imagine someone like that would talk that way. You know, that's a hard working yeah. middle class blue collar guy. Yeah. But there's no like stereotype. But in the new movie, the black cares. Oh God. I'll run around very stereo very stereotypical you know yeah I'm like well you know that's kind of interesting for a for a uh, film and a marketing campaign that's so uh, inclusive because it's women it's kind of weird isn't it like that's I, I, I think that's an interesting piece of criticism I, I, it, that I read. it is interesting yeah yeah hmm. anyway um Sigourney Weaver's hot in that movie oh they yeah, also did is. some weird things too I thought with it where 
and the new one, the receptionist, is Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, like they found this like very hot, attractive kind of guy. Yeah. Whereas like in the original one, like Janine yeah. was, she was good looking, but they they didn't try to like get like some supermodel kind of chick to be that. You know. True. I, no. well, I think I mean, they just want to attach like another <clears throat> male actor who's well known. Well, well, yes, but I think they're also trying to do because I mean you know from everything I've seen in this movie, especially like like you know YouTube pre roll ads and stuff that I've been seeing, they kind of hit you on the nose with the whole like you know we're you know we're female get used to it you know, but. Chris Hemsworth is supposed to be, like, the antithesis of the, like, hot blonde secretary that's kind of stupid, but gets by because she's hot, and that's supposed to be Chris Hemsworth, but he's male, you know, and how do you like it now, you know? Oh. It's kind of how, I, I, what I understand is what it's supposed to be. Well, he's Thor. He is Thor. <laughs> so he's fucking Thor. Yeah, I mean, I, don't, I, don't know. <laughs> I hear he's really funny, though. Yeah, actually, I yeah. thought he was the best part of the movie, yeah. but like, I, had, I had to watch it. I laughed at the trailers. Yeah, yeah, I laugh at the I did trailers. Too. I mean, I didn't. They've over the top. I've seen a few of the trailers now, and I think it's over the top of the whole like slapping thing of like yeah, the power of compulsion and slaps. And, like, okay, you got that in every trailer. Is that the best part of the movie or something yeah. or what? Like, I felt like yeah. the first one they had it, but they I, every trailer I see has that. Mm-hmm. Every one of them, like, jeez. I get the feeling that, especially with the cast that has, it probably has that kind of like Judd Apatow improv nature to it maybe yeah it's probably what they kind of go for so you know when you do that you have these ridiculous scenes that go on forever because they have really good memories of making this shit up on set yeah like oh we gotta leave this in this is so funny you know sometimes it's hard to divorce yourself from those like initial what would they think think is funny will they make a good film though you know yeah I mean I'm sure they did improv with this because I mean Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd. I mean, yeah. a lot of the guys that worked on this kind of stuff were in Saturday Night Live. Of course, you know? yeah. Same with Caddyshack. Like, yeah. Caddyshack had a lot of improv in it. Mm-hmm. A lot of Saturday Night Live guys. But yeah. they also, I know um, Harold Ramis and Dan Aykroyd worked a lot on trying to write the script and get it, like, they did research on trying to make it, like, a believable, like, science yeah. and everything. Of, like, you know, they took, like, real science behind, like, paranormal activity. Sure. Whipped in with, like, their own thoughts and what they think ghosts would be like and whatnot. And, they worked harder on a script that would have a good story. Yeah. Then you have the improv that adds in some fun little comedy moments into it, but you still have that good story going on rather than just like a really long scene that doesn't really take you anywhere. Of course. Yeah. I'm gonna have to look up some Dan Aykroyd crazy stuff. <clears throat> I love crazy people yeah. talk about crazy things. I think yeah. it's funny. <laughs> I like Dan Aykroyd. Yeah, I like him too. I love him Tommy Boy. Remember him and Tommy Boy? And Tommy Boy? He's like the, the CEO oh, yeah. of the one company yeah. that's taking over Callahan. Oh uh, yeah. Well, he's also... Uh, and he, like, he just, like, takes the he takes the mom or the girlfriend at the end. Yeah. Like, she's supposed to go to prison, but he just takes her. Like, let's go to lunch. So, send him some... Send him a bucket of ice... Uh, send, him, send him a wine with ice or whatever. For, yeah. Say, wine for your thoughts, bucket of ice for your balls, or whatever, yeah, yeah, that yeah. whole thing. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. There's also in Fifty First Dates, he's the doctor. Oh, yeah. yeah I remember... The, yeah. I uh, saw it at the Third Tree House, because you had it. You owned it or something. What? Fifty First Dates. I got a DVD of it, yeah. Yeah, I watched it there, Cool. Mm-hmm. It's, it's funny and it's, it's a good movie to watch with a girl. I don't think Dan Aykroyd's been in a lot of stuff lately, really. Well, no, I don't think so. I don't know. I gotta look up crazy conspiracy theories. Bill Murray, Aykroyd. I can't even think really a lot of Bill Murray stuff really. Like, well, aren't they all in the new movie? I heard there's. I think they all make all cameos, yeah. but they're not them. Yeah, they're not the characters. I'm not connecting with a dumb idea. I do too. Yeah. This okay. mo- yes, this I movie agree. though, the initial Ghostbusters movie, like I just have so many fond memories. Like I watched it when I was a kid. I mean, I didn't take away all the sexual stuff and the smoking scenes and all that kind of stuff with it, but I do remember, like, one of my favorite parts being, like, Dickless here, turn off the power, and the yeah. one guy's like, is this true? He's like, yes. Yes, it is true. This man has no dick. This yeah, man like, has no dick. I just, no I just remember that being, like, one of my favorite parts. Yeah. Of <laughs> it's weird to think that that's PG, because that's before PG-13 came out, right? Yeah. 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 When did I, PG-13 come out? I don't know. I mean, I, I like, guess... Had to have been, like, like after, it was after... Was it Jaws? Maybe. No, I don't know. I, I the, can't remember what movie actually started the PG-13 Did you guys thing. like Ghostbusters 1 or 2 more? 1. 1? Two's okay. I like funny moments, I like but... 2 a lot. The villain just has no, like... Vigo? Yeah, he, he just, like... He, I never found he was exciting to watch on screen. He was just like... Well, two is historically the one that's not as good, but I like 2 probably more because I, I watched... Think, I think I... I think I... Actually, to be honest, I think I watched it first. They say your love! That, that whole part, like, I love it. Like, when I was younger, I loved Ninja Turtles 3 so much. Oh, really? Yeah. 3 was pretty good. I liked 2 of the best of Ninja Turtles. Yeah. But I think I liked... I think I watched Ghostbusters 2 more. I think I enjoyed it more. 
the courtroom yeah. scene I loved. Their little like montage of catching ghosts in that moment. Yeah. I think I like better than the little montage of like Ghostbusters on a rise. You know. I mean, I, I felt one. like two kind of like had a lot of very similar stuff to one. You know, where it could have been a little more different. Yeah. Also, and this is just the, the soundtrack geek in me. The soundtrack of two was just terrible compared to one. What? Yeah. Too hot to handle. No, too I, cold no, to hold. not not the, ghost not the, the contemporary control. music. The actual like orchestration that they have in the uh, game. really okay. like there's so many themes in the first one, and it's like shit in the second one. Mm. It's like comparing Jurassic Park to like Home Alone. It's just different, you know. Gotcha. And it's yeah. not one's not as good. I don't know. The theme song in that one doesn't get a lot of credit, but I like it a lot. Yeah. The um, on our own song. Yeah. Like I just love the little rap they have in there in the middle. I just <laughs> sure. I love it. I miss the, the those days where like remember they like hire a rapper to make a rap for a movie. Yeah. It's so yeah. great. <laughs> Will Smith Iceman. Yeah. Will Smith <laughs> made a rap for go. everything he was in. Yeah, he did. What's, it's so Wild smart, Wild too. Because he gets paid for the movie. Wait. Huh. Did he make a rap for, for he, Suicide Squad? No. no. He doesn't do it now. <laughs> no. He but made like, one for he made one the one 90s, M. Night Shyamalan movie. In the 90s, if he was in a movie, yeah. Will Smith did a rap <laughs> no, for it. Yeah. He did Men yeah. in Black 1, Men in Black 2, he did Wild Wild West... Was there another one I'm missing? I mean, he did Fresh Prince, of course. He definitely didn't do uh, Bad Boys. Yeah, he, no, didn't, he didn't do. He, Bad Boys. Didn't, he didn't do Independence Day. No, he didn't do Independence Day. He did Bad Boys. Mm-mm. I'm saying. Oh though. no, Bad that Boys was was, uh, was P Diddy, Nelly, and some third guy. Shake a tail feather. Yeah. Yeah. Based it's just such a school. smart. It's just a smart idea to like release a huge single. Why your movie's coming out? Because all of the marketing money that the studio is putting in is selling your CD. Yeah. yeah, so fucking smart. Yep. And we went on a lot of topics this time. Yeah. Well, yeah, we we've been doing this. Uh, we talk just so much. We're just because we're getting into this podcast idea. We just, get, we just we keep talking, 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 and talking. But we, you know what? That's what separates us from everybody else. I mean, that the mailbag that I just finished yeah. is like there was like a half hour conversation in the middle of it where we just talked about our favorite TV shows. It yeah. should have been a podcast. Like, if there were four of us there and we uh, just kept so, going... Someone asked us, so yeah. 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 What's your favorite TV oh, show? Oh, like in a note. Yeah. What's your okay. three favorite TV shows? Yeah. Yeah, I could go on for a half hour. Yeah, right? Myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it does kind of separate us from other reactors, though, yeah. when we do our yeah. talking. And, you know, people like it. You guys, make sure you check out our, check out our podcast as well. Mm-hmm. We've been popping yeah. them up here on YouTube, but you can also find them on iTunes and Stitcher. Yeah. We didn't have one last week because I was at the beach, but we'll have one this week. Yeah. yeah. Sometime. All right, guys. I think that's it for this time. Yeah. Um, if you want to see more of our content, you can like and subscribe to this video, or you can go over to blindwave.net. You can see all of our stuff there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and you can also check everything down in the description box. There are links to our social media, Patreon, all that good stuff. And see you next time. I'm Calvin. I'm Shane. I'm Eric. I'm Aaron. Oh. Grab your sticks. <laughs> what? Heat them up. Oh. Make them Make hard. Make them hard. <laughs>